All right, welcome back. In case you're just joining us, you've missed the first half of the program, and this is the second half um, uh, with two ladies. You know, I'm always happy when I have ladies on the show because I tend not to talk to a lot of ladies, you know. <laughs> I talk to a lot of men on the show. And whenever I talk to ladies, you know, for those that watch the program, I'm always excited because I do know that ladies do a lot of good things. And come to think of it, we make up almost half of the population in Nigeria, and we are half of the world's population. Tonto DK, the founder of Tonto DK Foundation, is joining me right now. Tonto, good to see you. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm gorgeous. Yeah, oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Nimi Ugui is the chief executive of the Makeup Empire. Nimi, good to see you. Same here. Welcome to the program. Thank you. I said earlier that I'm excited. Um, also, you know, perhaps the, that excitement also stems from why you're here at uh, this morning. Let me start with Tunto. What exactly are you and Nimi collaborating uh, okay. on? The Tunto Diki Foundation and the Makeup Empire were collaborating to achieve a skill acquisition program for the women and the youth of Nigeria. We, we came together seeing the situation of the country. Unemployment is on a high rise. And when you have unemployment, you have the high rate of crime. So we came together and saw, saw a way to put put things together for these people, you know, teach them different skills, let them learn something so they can fall back on. Because I believe that the greatest gift a man can give to another man is not just giving you money, it's actually teaching you how to make money. And that's, I feel like that's something that would keep our Nigerian youth and women away from trouble. Okay, good. So what are you teaching people about? Oh, we have different categories. Okay. We what have the they? makeup and the gaily tying. We have the photography and the videographing, which is editing. We also have the hair styling. We have the nail technician and the styling. We have event planning. We have bead making. We have cake baking and designing. We have fashion designing. We have soap making. We have just a lot of varieties. Now, why, why did you... Why were you interested to collaborate with Tonto? Because you are the chief executive of Makeup uh, Empire. And makeup right now is a big oh industry. Yes, extremely in the, huge. In the very huge. huge. And I'm wondering, you know, you see anyone now. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> I'm a makeup artist. And I'm wondering <laughs> <laughs> whether the person, you know, you understand you, yes, you are the expert. Yes. And I'm actually even saying that. Perhaps that will be another topic of another day that <laughs> perhaps your industry, you also need to see because a whole lot is happening in your industry. Mm -hmm. But why the collaboration? Um, in time past, I've done some paid, you have to pay, events like this where we teach people strictly makeup. They come, a lot of crowd, they come and then we teach them makeup. And then I got to find out that with feedbacks from them, most of them tell me, oh my God, I want to come back and learn this thing. I really love makeup. Most women love if most times, women, we can't go out on for events and stuff without our makeup. makeup on. And you keep on buying makeup Every products. day. It's, yes, it's, it's, it's never enough. I keep <laughs> buying makeup <laughs> products. And I'm asking myself, it's like, what is that? Like yes. Commodity. We thank God for beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so they keep calling back. And I've just always, like, I, I'm her makeup artist. Oh. But and then I go out with her and I see her help the poor like she does charity work and i see her help the poor i see her take people back to school and i'm like i also love giving i hope also love helping sometimes some students come into my um studio and they're like oh this fee is too high please sometimes i'll be like okay let me just consider considering that this person it's, it's not enough for this person and then i just decided that i was going to collaborate like we're going to collaborate and then just do a skill acquisition where we could train people, we could just help people because a lot of people are suffering. Does it come at a fee or it's free? No, it's, free. it's totally free. free. It's totally, we know how hard the country free is. is. And uh, in as much as we want to always say, you know, the government has part to play, we also, as the people, have part to play. It's in the Bible, we say, be your neighbor's keeper. keeper. And this is one way. We all shout the change, the change, the change. The change is not going to come out from the people sitting up there. No, not the change would start from us. We have to recognize that we need the change. Just like I Not said, just the talking the about show. the change. Be the change you want yes. to be. Yes. the change that you want, you want to, to be. Say. Yeah. Now, so it's totally free. Now, but how, I know that anything free, the underlying factor, there's still money down there because um, how are you funding this this program? Yeah, because we, if you're going to get a haul or whatever, yeah, you're yes. also spending money, yeah. but you want people to come for free. So there's a funding 
money makes the world uh, go around. Sometimes we actually do this program by ourselves. Okay, so but sometimes we also have sponsors okay. to do it with. We also have um, people that we partner, partner with partner to do with it. So, yes. okay. We partner with a lot of people. Yeah, the event plays, the food. M and so it's not just people. about the training alone. Yes. Because what's, what's making this different from other skill acquisition other that I have been a witness to, it's not just stopping at the training alone. We would further, it's, we, we're interested in the success of the businesses. We want to be able to say, you know what, that is the revenue of Tony Tutiki Foundation. That was, that person is an achiever from this foundation or this program that we did. Or you know, this youth has, has had this establishment and is helping so many other youths because of this program. So we would strategically follow the movement and the success of every, every. business. Because we will be setting out what we have, we are, we are expecting 600 youths and women. But um, out of that, we are majorly looking for 50 people that we can strengthen, empower, set up business, and critically follow their success. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, when is this program happening? When, it's, where? It's happening uh, at Emerald Park. Okay. Uh, from the 12th to the 14th. The 12 people have to come out on time for registration, but the proper time for the event is from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's at Emerald Park, um, behind the Area 3 Catholic Church. Area 10, 3. 10 a.m. To, to, to 1 p.m. Yes. So every, uh, from 12 to 14, 10 a.m. Yes. To, to, to 1 p.m. Yeah. So you have different categories of people, people. coming to yeah. train. Yes. Yes. yes, we have all facilitators ready. Ready. Yeah. And apart from that, we also have spaces for people who can come and showcase their, their, businesses. Yes, their businesses. They could come, bring your business in. You want to sell. A lot of people are going to be there. Wow. A lot of people. So that means my show should be there too. Yes, yes we're, we're expecting we, we're, we're you. Expecting You're even you. our guest speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to come <laughs> and talk to them about yeah, the business the Nancy, side. You see, the truth is, the truth is um, women empowerment or youth empowerment is not because we want to build strength in a woman or a youth. We already have the strength in us. We just don't recognize it. Yes. We want strong women to come out and talk to these women. Tell them that they can do it. Yes, they can achieve it. You see what I, I, I always say? A lot of us make bad choices because of the condition of our lives. If I had everything I needed in life, you could not ask me to lie for you. You could not ask me to carry a gun for you. Because there's no amount of money that you're going to pay me that I can work out, which would derive me more joy. Nancy, we need strong women in Nigeria, in Africa, to come out and encourage our youths. That's mentorship. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You know, yes. Um, I'm actually particularly also interested in what you're putting together, especially as it deals with a lot of women. Because just like I said before, you, uh, or while you were here, that I'm always excited speaking to women, especially on the show. <laughs> it seems as if the men have got it. And we all figured out that we don't. Out. Yes. And I know the men have not got it all, all figured, figured out. out. Women are stronger. <laughs> you know? I feel like uh, we're, like yeah. when a woman puts her mind to do something, there's no length we, we, we can't we go to. We ourselves yeah, so, so much, much. envy and jealousy that we forget the bigger picture. We, 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 we're built for this. We just don't know how much we are built. Yes. Now, uh, uh, you, you're doing this in Abuja, and is there any plan taking it beyond Abuja? Yes, yes. we have okay. plans. Uh, actually, okay. this is not just a one-off thing. This okay. is something, the Tone to Decay Foundation, we are into so many things. But well, most especially, we take care of the rape victims. We, we, are the, we are one of the initiatives of Say No to the Domestic Violence. And at least every year, we send 3,500 students back to school. But this year, we wanted to focus on empowerment because there is a problem with empowerment in this country. Yes. I mean, everything going wrong is because our youth are not empowered, because our youth are not in the position where they should be. So we're sacrificing two years of our, of our spam to take care of this, and I know that we can achieve it. I do know that. Okay, let's take uh, <coughs> comments from people. Uh, Musa Gabasawa is saying, I commend the efforts of these, your guests on skills acquis acquisition. Advise them to join hands with the National Directorate of Employment, whose main mandate is job creation and empowerment. Have you, have you thought of collaborating yes, with any government Yes, we actually agency? have a little note for, I am from River State, and I really want to take this back <laughs> to my place. We, my, for out of all the states, I think my state lacks a great deal because we, 
I would, I would just love to take it back to my state and empower my people. So yes, we do have a message for our leaders. Okay. We do. Perhaps you should also, just like you said, at yes. NDE, you yes. can collaborate with them and um, um, expand the scope of the program. Mm -hmm. Excel Otsu says, nice initiative, Tonto. I wish you could spread it to all geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are. It's, it's just <laughs> starting from Abuja because I reside here and my foundation yeah. resides here. But we are taking it across Nigeria, eventually across Africa, but we are taking it in almost all the states. Dela says, Nancy, the socioeconomic status of both rural and urban families in Nigeria can be enhanced through the empowerment of the women population, whose activities spread across almost all sectors of the Nigerian economy. Empowering women folk means developing and sustaining a nation. Yeah. Yes, that's true. What should the men, uh, for people listening to us right now, and perhaps you're also a man, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's also good for you to encourage people of to come. Course, yes. Oh yeah. I yes. mean, it's, it's just we 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 we're not discriminating. We have yes. slots for men, men too. Yes. So no. yes, it's not just for women alone. You have make no, men, men, men that are make yes. 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 Yeah. a lot yes. of men. A lot of men yes. make, make everything. Yes. Yes. And you go to the salon. Women even prefer the male. The men to the make. make yeah, yeah. 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 Even if they don't want to make it as much. We have instructors who are also men. I mean, half of our facilitators are on the beauty side are men. Yeah. Wow. Okay, keep your comments coming through. We have just a few minutes to at the end of the program. So let's rehash it once again. Where is it happening and what time and all of that? Perhaps are those joining us right now? It's Amy? happening at um, Area 3, Area 3 Catholic Church. Behind the Area 3 Catholic Church is called Emerald Park. Emerald Park, which is behind the Area 3 Catholic Church. It's happening from the 12th to the 14th of this month. That's on Monday, and it's starting by 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. But the first day. But the first okay. day, please be there on time for registration so from 8 a.m. Okay, yes, before 10 a.m. Before 10 a.m. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lord Ramsey says, "Nice seeing you, Tonto DK. Mm -hmm. Please, my question is: Is this empowerment peculiar to the female? <laughs> no, no, like we just said, it's not peculiar to the female alone. We have 50 slots for the men. 50 slots mm -hmm. for the men. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yusuf Adeshino says, I wish them success in the empowerment program. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, keep your comments coming through and uh, let's see how much we can take before uh, the show uh, ends. Um, and okay. Otu says, Tonto, you sound political. Any intentions yet? 2019 is just by the corner. Are you going to be coming out for any position? <laughs> Talk now. <laughs> uh, let's watch. <laughs> Wait, oh, that's a political answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching you my 3D lenses now. All Let's all watch. No, all, all, I'm, all I'm passionate about right now is, is um, helping the Nigerian youths and women. And that's really, if, if there's an office for that, yes, definitely, why not? Wow. <laughs> do you think that as uh, entrepreneurs uh, and as a foundation <coughs> owner, do you think that the government has really done enough in terms of bridging that uh, employment gap? You know, because a lot of young people do not have jobs, yes. be it male or female. True. Um, well, what can the government do? Because you are bridging a gap with your people people like your foundation. The government can partner, partner with, with people, people like us. us. Yes, partner with foundations like us, people that can to encourage, encourage. people to get jobs, get themselves into businesses, start up businesses. Yeah. We have a few who have collaborated with us. We call, they call us in and tell us, oh, this and this and this. We have a few. But we would also want more people in the government to think of people around them, mm -hmm. reduce the crime rate, reduce the rate of poverty in the land. Yes. Too many people are suffering. suffering. There's so much suffering. Too many There's people. So much. Too many people. So if they could partner with people like us, with um, companies like us, and help people literally just help people, empower them, give them starter packs to start up their business, not just empowering them, not just giving them the knowledge, not just bringing out um, facilitators to teach them, but just giving them start starter packs Fox to start up yeah. their lives. That would be wonderful. Wow. Okay, do you have any last uh, thing to say just before we end uh, the program? Do you have any? Yes. Yeah. We, we're using this medium to reach out to the River State Government, hoping the government gives us the opportunity to go back to our state and empower our youths and women. What else? Nimi, do you have any other thing to say? Literally, we just want to empower. We just yeah. want to, we have passion to help. That's we why. Can, we can achieve any of this without the help of the government. government yes. We can't. We and try we on them. our own. We try, but, but we, we, we do need them. them. Yes. Okay. 
All right. I do know that uh, AIT, <coughs> of course, has been a, a wonderful. Oh yes, thank you very much. Yes, yes. 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 I wouldn't we allow want you to thank <laughs> our sponsors. Yes. Would you allow me to yes, thank you? Yes, sure. Yes. Please, we want to thank our sponsors. So many of them have come in and partnered with us. We want to give special thanks to AIT. We want to also give a special thanks to the Nigerian Army, to the Nigerian the police, police um, Emerald Park. Thank you thank for you collaborating with us over and over again. We want to thank Dabota Cosmetics, Calabar Aroma Kitchen, um, Angel Nikki, Classic. So many people have come in. Miss Health for organizing it for us. So many people. The have, love, the love, the has, love has been, been real. massive. The love yes, has been the, really um, massive. massive. Yes. You never know how passionate other people are until you venture into, into something. something. The passion is huge. We've had so many calls that we never knew we would have, and mm -hmm. people are keen into this, and we're very grateful for all our partners. Thank you so much. There's a photographer who literally gave us cameras for free yes. wow. to um, empower, empower people. people. Like, he just has a studio, and side. he gave us free cameras just mm -hmm. to empower people. Wow, we're nice. so grateful yes. to everybody for coming on board. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And thank you to AIT. Too. Yes, AIT yes, has been wonderful. wonderful. We bless. Thank you so much. Thank you much. so much to the Nigeria Army and Police for providing us security and making sure that the youth of Nigeria stay safe. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Um, if I let me take this comment. Please help me to tell Tonto that I appreciate her efforts towards having a better society. And also tell her that she's beautiful. <laughs> but Thank that beauty you. won't be complete if she doesn't tell me the meaning of tonto. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so would you reply if I tell the meaning of oh, tonto? Thank you very much, if I Well, tonto is actually not a Nigerian name. It's um, originated from Canada. And it means peculiar, holy, kind of like purity. Kind okay. of. Thing. But then it also has, um, I think, the Spanish have a very bad meaning for it. Oh. Oh, no, not a bad meaning, <laughs> just a negative meaning. Mm. Yes. Okay. We'll stick to the uh, which I st one. I stick to the positive <laughs> one, which is purity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a lot of comments coming through. Let me just, I have one minute to time more. And you say government creates enabling environment. People create the jobs. Good job. Good job, like you guys. Charles says, Thank please you. can you help us to beg the Nigerian government to pay the Empower volunteers for <laughs> January stipend? <laughs> you shouldn't send me again to Empower. <laughs> I did that last year, but I hope they are listening. <laughs> and my friend, Afolabi Mokwede, the special advisor to the president of job creation, Afolabi, this is for you. They yes. shouldn't send me to you people again. <laughs> but anyhow, thank you very much. Thank you yes, so I know the show is something? about to end, yeah. yes. But very I also quickly. want to thank you, Nancy. Thank you, thank thank you, thank so you much. for being a light to people. Thank yeah. you for making people know that as a woman, you could actually you achieve, achieve, you could make dreams. something of yourself. Mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you for allowing us to come on your show. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for being such a huge, huge role model. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. All right, I've been speaking with Stone to the founder of Stone to DK our foundation and Nimi Ugui, who is the chief executive officer at Makeup Empire. We've been talking about the skill acquisition program they are putting together uh, for the 12th to the 14th of February. That's this month at Emerald Park here in Abuja, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So uh, make yourself available. If you're not doing anything, find yourself there. Don't yes. sit at home. So go meet uh, with Tonto DK and Nimi on the 12th to the 14th. 14th. Em Emerald Park, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. I hope to be there too.